my dear students if you want to support me so that i'll keep producing more videos i would like you to go to the description below and click this link and subscribe to my second channel so if you click the link it will take you here if you see that this is still red then you click it but if it is not red it means you have already subscribed that is all i want from you So this is the first question and we are trying to find the exact value. We are trying to find the exact value of this fraction. So what we need to do is to rewrite this fraction as improper fraction. So we multiply 4 by 5 to get 20 plus 1 which is 21 all over 5 then we multiply by 1 over 3 now minus this is also a mixed number so we convert to improper fraction 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 is 5 So 5 over 4. Now we need to simplify. So 3 will go into itself once and it will go into 21 seven times. So now we are left with 7 over 5. 7 over 5 plus 7 times 1 is 7. Then 5 times 1 is 5. 7 over 5 minus 5 over 4. Now the next thing is we collect LCM of 5 and 4 which is 20. Five goes into twenty four times four times seven is forty. Four times seven is twenty eight. Four into twenty five times five times five is twenty five. Twenty eight minus twenty five is three. So the exact form is 3 over 20. This is the exact value. Exact value means it shouldn't be in a fraction, uh, it shouldn't be in decimal form. Or, uh, yeah, exact value means it must not be in decimal form. Now, we have this part. We are still finding the exact value of this. So let us rewrite this as. 4.1 4.1 minus 1.25 1.25 squared is same as 1.25 times 1.25 all over 0. Point Zero, zero, five. So now let's multiply this using our cal calculator to get One point five six two five. So we have four point one, four point one minus one point five six two five all over zero point zero zero five. 
zero point zero zero five. So we subtract to get, we subtract using our calculator to get 2, 2.5375, 2.5375, all over 0. 0.00. Five. So this will give us two five three seven five all over ten thousand all over ten thousand. Let's change this to division sign. So divided by, divided by, divided by five, we convert this to a fraction, which is five over thousand, five over thousand. So we simplify further, simplify further by canceling. So or let's reciprocate this so you multiply by the reciprocal so we have two five three seven five three seven five over ten thousand over ten thousand over ten thousand times times thousand over five times thousand over five So let us cancel. Let us cancel. Or let us simplify to get, you know, this will get rid of this. Then 5 will go here. Five zero seven five. Five zero seven five times. So we are left with five zero seven five five zero seven five over ten over ten and this is equal to five zero seven point five five zero seven point five and in exact form is five zero seven five zero seven whole number 1 over 2 so 507.5 the same as this so this is the exact form a stadium currently has a seating capacity of this 15,400 seats calculate the number of people in the stadium when 75% of the seats are occupied so we are simply calculating 75 percent 75 percent of 15,400 15,400 so times 15,400 So this is the same as 75 over 100, 75 over 100, 75 over 100 times, times 15, 15,400, 15,400. So this is out. Now let's cancel and see something. This would get out of for this. So now we are left with 75 times 75 times 154. 75 times 154. 
and this we calculate to get one one five five zero one one five five zero people so when the capacity is 75 percent full then we have one eleven thousand five hundred and fifty people in the stadium the stadium the stadium is to be renovated with a new seating capacity of 20,790 seats. After the renovation, what will be the percentage increase in the number of seats? So, percentage increase in the number of seats. So, percentage increase will be equal to increase, increment, that is increment, increment over the base or the original value increment of our original value original value times hundred percent times hundred percent so let's substitute to get now to find the increment we know the original value is 15,400 so the increment will be new value which is 20,790 20,790 minus 15,400 15, times 100% times 100% so this will be equal to let's subtract to get 27900 minus 15400 So that will give us 5390. 5390 over 15400 times 100%. Times 100%. So let's simplify to get. Let's simplify to get this. This will get up for this. Then this will also get up for this. So we are left with 539 over 154 times 10. And this will give us this will give us 35 percent. So the percentage increase is 35%. A neon light flashes five times every ten seconds. Show that the light flashes forty-three thousand two hundred times in one day. So we have five times five times in ten seconds. So this is seconds and this is the number of times. A number of times so we know that there are 24 hours in a day 24 hours in a day so we need to convert this 24 hours to seconds and this will be equal to 24 
times we know one hour is 60 minutes one hour is 60 minutes so this will be equal to 24 times 60 minutes then we need to convert these minutes into seconds so we know this will be 24 times 60 and one minute is 60 seconds so times 60 but the light flashes every 10 seconds so you have to divide this by 10 and multiply by 5 so in one day in one day in one day the number of time it flashes will be equal to 5 times 24 24 times 60 24 times 60 times 60 again divided by 10 because it flashes every 10 seconds five times every 10 seconds not each second so we simplify this we simplify this to get five times this will go here six times six times 60 is 360 we have five times 24 24 times 360 and this is equal to 4 3 4 3 2 0 0 4 3 2 0 0 as required 4 3 2 0 0 as required Now, uh, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.